When the ray of light passes through triangular glass prism, it deviates away from its original path. The angle of deviation is the measure of how much the light, instant ray of light deviates away from the original direction. Consider this triangular prism ABC. The angle of deviation of light is the measure of how much the instant ray of light deviates away from its original path. The aim of this experiment is to measure the angles of deviation and minimum deviation. Requirements. You have white sheets of paper, triangular glass prism, four office pins, four optical pins, a protractor, a pencil, ruler, and a soft drawing board. Procedures. Fix a white sheet of paper on a drawing board by using drawing pins. Place the triangle glass prism, then traces the edges of the glass prism and name as prism A, B, C. By using a ruler, produce a normal just at the midpoint of the point A, B. Make sure the normal is at 90 degrees. The normal should be drawn by dotted lines. This normal is normal M N. The point where you find 90 degrees is point Q. By using make a line PQ so that it makes an angle 30 with the normal M N M. This is a protector. This is 10, 20, 30. This is the incident ray of light PQ. Replace the glass block. Fix two optical pins along the line PQ. And later view the images of the pin from the opposite side of the triangular glass prism. Make sure that you are perpendicular to the measurement that you want to take so as to avoid parallax error. And if possible, you can close one eye and use, the, use one eye. These images of pins, S1, and this is S2. Then remove the glass block, triangle, glass, tri triangle prism, and the optical pins. Then join points S1 and S2 so as to produce emergent ray. This is emergent ray R S. Then join point Q R so as to produce refracted ray. Q R is refracted ray. Prolong the line PQ to produce a line PT by using dotted lines.
This is point PT. Again, prolong the line RS backward to meet the line PT. From this diagram now, this is angle of incidence and this is the angle of deviation. By using a protractor, you can measure now the magnitude of the angle of deviation. Measure the angle of deviation. By using a protractor, the angle of deviation now is equal to 49 degrees, while the angle of incidence used was 30 degrees. After that, record the observations in the table. The angle of incidence was 30, the angle of deviation was 49. Now, you can remove the fancy white sheet of paper used. Use another plain paper, fix it in the blackboard, in the softboard. Repeat the same procedure to obtain more results for the angles of 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55. From the results of the experiment, Select a suitable scale so as to draw the graph of angle of deviation D against angle of incidence I. From the curve drawn by using free hands, draw the line at the lower part of the curve until when you meet the graph, the curve. You can see this is at, at the angle of deviation 40. It comes to give us the angle of incidence as 40 again. Now we can see that the angle of or the minimum angle of deviation in our experiment is found to be 40 degrees. As the angle of incidence increase from 30 to 55, the angle of deviation decreases from 49 up to 40, which is the minimum deviation and it starts to increase again. The angle of minimum deviation is the angle formed between the incident ray and the emergent ray when the light passes symmetrically through the prism. And at this, at this moment, the angle of incident is equal to the angle of emergent. Symmetrical condition occurs when line QR is parallel to the base of the prism that is AC.